Good morning to one and all present here. I take immense pleasure to welcome you all with the goal to likewise turn you into a part of our program. Thank you to each one of you for being here with us today. Art Integrated Learning is a framework of experiential learning which provides an equitable learning environment for all learners through their own access point. Today, we celebrate our first ever annual day which no one far from believing ever thought would be possible but our students together with their teachers turned it into a reality. According to their caliber, the entire presentation is done by our children with innocence. They have displayed unparalleled talent and made this possible with their hard work, determination and efforts. Undoubtedly, we are very fortunate to have such teachers who recognize their talent and chisel it with a sphere called wisdom and love. They draw the creative, academic and sporting potential out of the students by giving them all an enriching learning experience. We are all set to present it for the first time virtually uniting all of you here under the same roof with common interests that is adoration for art and its different forms. I would now like to welcome our Vice Principal Deepa Ma'am to share her valuable thoughts. Welcome Ma'am. A very good morning to everyone. It's an extremely proud and emotional moment for all of us on this very special day as our school is going to complete one more fantastic year. How true it was some time ago. How easy was it to relate to it. We all would agree to why the friends we make at school are said to be nothing less than family. I now at this point take the opportunity to wholeheartedly invite you all to Pawar Public School Hinjavati's first ever virtual annual day. Unlike the rest of the annual days, this one begins a new only trend. We have always heard this saying from our elders. School life is the best, make the most of it. And we do not want our students to miss out on it at all. As much as we would have loved to meet each other personally, circumstances are not permitting us to do it. Although online, we did not want the children to miss out on another year without the annual day celebration. Annual day is where you get to see how, you're, how creative your children are in various fields. Only this time their creativity has bloomed on various new branches. Children have been exploring areas which are very new to them and are gearing up with the 21st century skills. I hope you understand and appreciate the effort that they have put in to make this event memorable. It was a daunting task to integrate art with the academic content. This year we are showcasing the state of Odisha in all its glory and magnanimity. So dear parents, sit back and enjoy. Appreciate and lastly applaud the efforts of all the students and teachers who have put in so much to make this experience a different yet memorable one. Thank you. Very good evening to all of you, dear respected teachers, parents and my dear fellow students. We are all experiencing an extraordinary situation of COVID-19 and in these difficult times, almost left impossible to celebrate our annual day. We are all performing on the unique state of Odisha. Odisha is located in the East India. It's a state with a variety of tribes, each having a different lifestyle. They also have some interesting arts such as Patta Chitra and Tarasaki. Odisha is a well-preserved state and has many ancient caves and temples. It is also famous for its dances. I would like to thank all the teachers and students who made it possible to put up a show for all of us. I hope each one of you will enjoy and be entertained. Without any further ado, let's get on with the program. Oh, what is that? Oh, they! They are Amit Rohidas, Virendra Dakra, Namita Topu, and B. Breeze Eta. So, who are they? Amit and Virendra were the part of men's hockey team in Olympics who won bronze medal. Oh, and what about the girls? And Namita and Deep uh, were also in women's hockey team uh, in Olympics and they uh, secured 4th place in India. Oh, fantastic. And what about the other 
sports person in Odisha. So Odisha is the sports capital of India. And uh, there are many uh, sports like uh, weightlifting, shooting, swimming, and there are many players like uh, Dilip, Deep, uh, Namita, the end number. So I cannot tell all. Oh, okay. So I'm fantastic. I did not know so many sports person are from Odisha. Yes. And I got to know one of the sports person. I have his number. Let's call him. My friend, so so glad to meet you. Me too. I want you to meet my tourist. Hi, you're Dilip Trikar, right? I am so honored to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Can you tell me more about yourself? Of course. I am Dilip Tirki. I was born in Sundagra, Odisha on 25th November 1977. I made my hockey debut in 1995 against England. I represented India in 1996 Atlanta, 2000 in Sydney, 2004 Athens Olympics and I have a total of 412 International Cups. I am the first Adivasi or you may call tribal from India to get the Padma Shri Award. I also received the Arjun Award on, in 2002 and the Eklavya Award in 1996. I used to play full back and I was also the captain of the team. After my re retirement from hockey in 2010, I became a Rajya Sabha member. He was one of the most difficult defender to beat in the world. Can you tell me more about the other athletics too? Yeah, actually, uh, you must have heard of Duti Chand. I'll tell you about her. Duti is a track and field athlete. She was born on 3rd Feb 1996 in Jaipur. She presently holds the position of national champion in the women's 100 meters event. She holds a total of 12 medals, 2 silver medals from the Asian Games, Jakarta year 2018, 4 bronze medals from Asian Championships, a bronze in the Asian Indoor Athletics Championships, a silver and a bronze from the 2016 South Asian Games a gold in summer universiates 100 meters and two golds in the 2014 junior athletics championship that is amazing we have such a remarkable athletics yes indeed pleasure meeting you actually we have an appointment with mrs shipra agarwal the founder of uh, kalaghar and that was really amazing to talk to you enjoyed meeting you guys hope you get to know more about odisha bye Bye! Hmm. Now let me tell you about the famous founders of Odisha. One of them is Mrs. Shitra Agarwal. Let's call her. Hi, I am Shipra Agarwal, the founder of Kalagar. Hello, but what's Kalagar? Kalagar is a service that helps rural artisans in expanding their business. Where did you get the idea to do this? I finished my engineering and MBA, had worked with SR Group and Access Bank. I was well on my way to build a successful career as a management professional, but I wanted more. And so I got in touch with my younger sister, Meghna. Meghna officially told me about the immutable struggles that the self-help groups and rural artisans face while trying to sell their products. We both felt an opportunity to provide a machinery service and so Kalagar came into play. Oh, that's so thoughtful of you. I'm sure you'll inspire many people to help around. I really hope so. Have you visited the beaches? Not yet. We are in the bus now. Yes, our bus has reached now. It was amazing calling you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
friends who uh, owns a restaurant let's go to him okay he will also explain you about the odisha dishes which are famous over here oh wow let's go then hi i will be showing you some of the most popular odia dishes food of odisha pakhala bhata this is a dish made with rice and curd it is prepared by soaking cooked rice in water and sour curd typically left overnight and it is served with potatoes or fish this fermented rice dish is mostly eaten during the summer time in odisha chena poda This is a cheesecake sweet made with cottage cheese and semolina. It is prepared by mixing cottage cheese with semolina and sugar, but traditionally jaggery is used. This dessert is baked for several hours until it becomes deep brown and the sugar gets caramelized. Matcha khab this curry consists of the fried head of the fish and is served with boiled rice and salad. It is also offered to goddess Durga on the Shara. The curry is a rich blend of onions, potatoes, garlic and the regular Indian spices. Charula Vart. This dish consists of immensely scrumptious crispy balls that are made with primarily urad dal and rice. Four parts rice and one part urad dal are soaked overnight for a minimum of for a minimum of 8 hours and then blended into a medium coarse paste ingredients like cumin seeds carom seeds coriander leaves and a pinch of baking soda salt and pepper are added to this paste it is served with a green chutney thank you oh, wow what is this 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 is pakala bhat okay and what a beautiful thing are these are they all from odisha yeah this one is from odisha and the interesting thing today is that it's uh, 20 march that means it is pakhala bhat day and oh, today they are uh, everyone like oh, everyone living in the odisha they will eat this all day and guide leave the hotel room and sit in a car and reach the forest wow what a beautiful place you brought me that's my pleasure now let's explore it there are many animals and birds over here come on wow after roaming for some time guide says can you see that what that is an asian open bill we call gendalia oh okay And can you see that? Oh, what is that? That is Asian sparrow lark. We call it as Chhatiya. Chhatiya. C H A T I A. Okay. C H A T I A. Yeah. Tourist looks some things on ground and sees. Oh my God! What is this? This this is a mouse deer. Oh, are there more animals like this? Yes, there are many like Pallas cat, marsh crocodile, Indian pangolin too. Oh okay. After seeing tribal group passing by, tourist asked. Oh, what is that? Oh, that. I think so. That is a tribe. Oh, I want to know more about them. Let's go. They are going. Arey, but, but we go inside the tribal area. Who are you? Suddenly, a tribal person jumps in front of them by keeping a bala in hand. pointed towards them what what are you saying you cannot understand whatever you are saying who are you 
Hey, we are not your enemies. We are, we are your friends. We we came from outside, from city. Please don't hurt us. Oh, sorry. I thought you are our enemy. He calls one person named Sushmita. Hey, come here. What? What did he say now? I call Sus Sushmita my sister. By the way, I am Raju. Sushmita came and stood beside Raju. What happened, Raju? Sushmita made them. They came from the city. Let us take them to the king. We are taking you to our king. We also wanted to meet him. Actually, we wanted to know more about your tribe and the king. Going to the palace of king. My lord, some people from the city came to know about us. Welcome. Today it's a dance festival and we want to show you our tribal dance. Yeah, sure. Why not? Wow, well, I'm very excited to see your tribal dance. Start the dance festival. <laughs> Really amazing dance. I I very like it. No, not amazing. It was super amazing. Wow, what beautiful jewelry they were wearing. Very beautiful. This includes normal coin necklaces, armlets, anklets, earrings, nose ring, a choker, etc. So, do other tribes also wear these types of jewelries? No, every tribe wear some different type of jewelries. Let me show you.
wish I would have tried wearing those. Now, let's have some food. Yeah, sure. Why not? Please sit down. Guide and tourist sits down. Thali is kept in front of them. Have these. We eat food normally, consisting of things like maize, rice, dry joa powder and ghangara. After eating. Let me show you our place. Yeah, sure. Why not? Roaming here and there in an area. Our main occupation is cattle herding and weaving basket. Oh, wow. What a beautiful basket you weave. How much basket? How much cost does this basket to you? It costs 45 rupees. Oh, how do you make all these? Come on, let me show you how to weave a basket. the trick yes no sir allow us to do sure that was a wonderful place right yes oh what is that um it seems to be a cave let's go and see this is the yudhagiri and khandagiri caves or you can also call the katak caves we would love to see Yes, you can visit. I walk here around this place. I have been living in this place for 60 years. The caves are situated in two adjacent hills, the Yudhagiri and Khandagiri. Yudhagiri means sunrise hill. Khandagiri is a 15 caves, while Yudhagiri is 18 caves. These ancient caves were discovered by King Kharavela, who ruled the kingdom of Kalinga. The written work is of Hathigampa inscription. This inscription was written by King Kharavela in 2nd century BCE. It is a 17-line description in Turkic language and it is written in Brahmi letters. Are there more inscriptions in these caves? What is the caves? Rani Gufa. Rani Gufa is the most large and popular cave among the caves of Vidyagiri and Khandagiri. The word Rani means king. Although it is not an architectural mound, it has some ancient beautiful sculptures. The sculptures of wild animals, fruit lady, trees, human figures, women playing an ancient instrument, monkey and playful elephants are found. The pilasters contain thousands of architects decorated with sculptures of Jain religious importance and royal schemes. Jai Vijaya Gupha. The tree worship refers from Jai Vijaya Cave. The Jai Vijaya Gupha is dug, stored, and caves are carved for the female wearing ear, re earrings, bands, beautiful decorated hair. On the other hand of the carved is an parrot and other resting on her vest. Ganesh Gupha. Ganesh Gupha is the most important and cave in Vijaya Giri. The cave is named for the carved figure of Ganesh on the name back of the right cell of course it would have been carved in the last period and it cannot be in the world. The cave has two large statues of elephant carrying grand guns at the entrance and is the first example of sculptures and will used as a guard to the entrance. Yagraha Gupa is the most important cave in Vidya Giri. The cave which is in front that has an entrance carved like a tiger's mouth with a single cell forms a tiger's throat. It has one of the most photographed sites in Vidya Giri. The word Yagraha means tiger. The inscription found here tells us that this cave belongs to the city judge Subhedi. Do you have more uh, information about these temples? Temples of Odisha, Jagannath Temple. The temple was built by Ganga dynasty king Anantvarman Choda Ganga in the 12th century, common era. 
द जगन्नाथ टेम्पल इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट हिंदू टेम्पल डेडिकेटेड टू जगन्नाथ अ फॉर्म ऑफ श्री कृष्ण इन पुरी इन द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा कोणार्क सन टेम्पल कोणार्क इज अ मीडियम टाउन इन द पुरी डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द स्टेट ऑफ ओडिशा इट इज द साइट ऑफ द थर्टीन सेंचुरी सन टेम्पल ऑल्सो नोन एज द ब्लॅक पोगाडा लिंगराजा टेम्पल लिंगराजा टेम्पल इज अ हिंदू टेम्पल डेडिकेटेड टू शिवा अँड इज वन ऑफ द ओल्डेस्ट टेम्पल इन भुवनेश्वर द कॅपिटल ऑफ द इंडियन स्टेट ऑफ ओडिसा द टेम्पल इज द मोस्ट प्रॉमिनेंट लँडमार्क ऑफ भुवनेश्वर सिटी अँड वन ऑफ द मेजर टुरिस्ट अट्रॅक्शन ऑफ द स्टेट इट वॉज बिल्ड इन इलेव्हन सेंचुरी कॉमन एसो थँक्यू दे आर हॅव्हिंग अमोदोग्राफी अँड टॉपिक शो दिस इव्हनिंग Do you want to go? We would love to see that. Namaskar bhaiyo aur behno. Aaj hum aapke samne ek mudra chitran karyakram prastut karenge. Aasha hai ki aapko pasand aaye. The merchant was strolling on the seaside. He saw a man filling up the cup with sand and emptying it behind. Then again he filled up the cup with sand and again emptied behind. With the curiosity seeing that what was the man doing he went to the man and asked oh good man what are you doing and who are you then the man said i am the baba i take care that every person of for today gets its lunch to eat and every meal to eat then he said to the merchant that oh really really can you do this then the man said oh yes i can do this Then the merchant asked, okay then, let's have a bet. If I do not have my afternoon lunch today, then you will win the bet. Then the Bibata says that, okay, sure, today you won't have any lunch for today. Then the merchant goes to the market and buys a fish. He takes the fish to the house and gives it to his wife and tells, you make fish for today's lunch and I will come to eat. Then he again goes for his work. When he comes back from work, he sat down for lunch and his wife serves him fish. He starts thinking that now I've won the bet because I had my lunch. I'll have my lunch today. And that man, that Vivata is telling lies. Then he started laughing very loudly. And then his wife thought that he is laughing on the food she has prepared. then so she got angry and started shouting at him that how can you laugh on the food i have prepared then she takes off the food and started uh, talking to him in very angry mood then after a big quarrel with both of them he ends up having no food for lunch thank you ab hum aage ke karyakram mein badhte hain jisme aapko katputli ka natak dikhaya jayega There once lived a merchant in a village in Orissa. One morning he was taking a stroll by the seaside. Some distance away he saw a man squatting on the beach filling a cup with sand. What is he doing? The merchant wondered. He walked towards the man and watched him. The man filled the cup, turned around and emptied the cup contents on a large heap of sand behind him. Then he again turned towards the sea and began filling the cup with sand. This went on for a while as the merchant watched the man continue to fill the cup with sand and emptied it behind him. Finally, curious and puzzled, the merchant went up to the man and asked him, "Who are you, good man, and what are you doing?" The man continued to fill the cup and replied, "I am Bidhata. I am fate." I am measuring out the food each man is to receive today. The merchant was even more curious now. Can you really do that? he asked. Yes, Bidhata nodded. If I miss out even a single person, he or she will have to go hungry today. Do you mean to say that if you don't keep aside my measure of food to for today, I will have to go hungry? The merchant asked mockingly. That's right, said Vidhatha. Then I challenge you to withhold my afternoon meal for today, said the merchant. As you wish, 
said with half a smile. The merchant went to the market and brought fish and took it home. Cook this for lunch, he said to his wife. Ha! Huh, that Vidhata. Let me see how he withholds my afternoon meal from me. And so thinking, the merchant left for his workplace. By noon, he was backing, uh, he was backing home and sat down to eat. As soon as, he wife, as soon as his wife served the fish, the merchant thought, I challenge Vidhata to withhold my lunch. But he couldn't succeed. Poor Vidhata. And he began to laugh. Ha 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 ha. Now the merchant's wife thought he was laughing at the way the food had been prepared. She was upset and she started shouting at the merchant. They had a quarrel and finally the merchant got up and stormed out of the house. It was only when he calmed down and realized how Bidata had succeeded in making him forgo his lunch. Let's see an overview on dance and music of Odisha. Music and dance forms in Odisha. Famous dance forms in Odisha. Some famous dance forms in Odisha are Shahu dance, Chaiti dance, Danda dance, Mehda dance, Changu dance, Karma dance, and Odissi dance. Shahu dance, a traditional dance form in Odisha which is used to enact the episodes from the Hindu epics of Ramayana and Mahabharata, is Shahu dance. The indigenous dance forms are integrated with martial arts to form this dance form. Chaiti Goda dance, also known as the horse dance, is mainly performed during the festivities related to the fishing communities of Odisha. This dance form is only performed by the Karbartha caste. One of the most popular folk dances of Odisha performed in the Ganjam district is Dandanata. In this form of dance, devotees undergo the penance to appease Lord Shiva by physically touring their bodies. Mehda Nacha is another type of mask dance performed mainly in the coastal districts of Odisha. Oversized masks of kings, queens, and devils made by paper pulps are used by dancers to perform this beautiful form of dance. Changu dance, performed by almost all regional tribes of Odisha. Changu dance is a rural variety of tambourine. This dance is mainly performed by women. However, men only sing songs and groove with female dancers with simple steps. Karma dance. Performed during the festival of Karma Puja by the people of Gond and Aroan tribes, the tribal dance of Karma is represented in front of Karam tree that represents the god of fate. Odissi dance. Renowned as the most referred classical dance form in Odisha, Odissi dance is a typical dance form where the religious and mythical stories and poems emoted by the dancers through expressions, body movements, and gestures. Thank you. Let's see dance of Odisha. <laughs> ಅನ್ವಲಂಗ <laughs> Different forms of music in Odisha. Music in Odisha. Uh, Odisha music is a genre of classical music in India, originated from the eastern state of Odisha. The various aspects of Odissi music include Champadi, Chennada, Malasiri, and etc. Odissi songs were written even before the Odia language developed. 
Odissi music has a rich legacy. Odissi music is uh, deeply associated with Jagannatha Temple of Puri. Odissi music was originally the music offered as a service to Jagannatha. Every night during the last ritual of the deity, the Gita Govinda of Jayadeva is sung. The great singers of Odissi music in modern times are Adguru Singhari, Shama Sundarakar, Ashta Bandhini, and etc. To wrap up the Odissi music, it is a jewel in India's crown, from the tribal songs to the modern day composition. Hello everyone. I hope you all liked and enjoyed our performance. On behalf of my class, I would like to thank Principal Sir, Vice Principal Ma'am, Coordinators and Activity in Charges who came up with this wonderful idea. I would also like to thank teachers who suggested us different different ideas to make this presentation successful. I would also like to thank Lena Ma'am for supporting and guiding all of us. A special thanks to our editors Praneet, Riddhi, Samaruddhi and Pragyan who edited this video wonderfully. Thank you to my 8D classmates who actively participated in this project. Last but not least, thank you to the audience who visited our program. happen overnight. The wheels start rolling weeks ago. It requires planning under bird's eye for detail. We have been fortunate enough to be backed by the very motivated and dedicated team of Pawa Public School in Jewari. As Alice Walker said, thank you is the best prayer that anyone could say. Thank you expresses extreme gratitude, humility and understanding. We express our sincere thanks to our principal DK sir who inspires young minds to mold themselves into wonderful human beings. Thank you Deepa ma'am for your continuous guidance and support in making this event a grand success. Today we have witnessed a rainbow of performances which have been choreographed under the stewardship of our teachers. A big thank you to all the teachers for being such wonderful facilitators. We would also like to thank all the parents present here. Your participation and presence encourages us to create new benchmarks year after year. Lastly, a huge round of applause for all our students' fantabulous performances. You all rocked it. Thank you.